One last chance for this Japanese warrior. Making his way to Holland, Nobu Hayashi trained at the famous Chakuriki Gym. Since his entrance into the K1 ring, he has made quite a splash as a two-time K1 Japan Grand Prix finalist. He has yet to gain a title, but that's what he's here for tonight. This lone samurai brings everything he's got to take on world-class warriors and somehow bring home tonight's prize. He has one chance to make it happen. Can this national hero become an international star? There's no looking back. Carter Williams. Soon after his K-1 debut in 2002, he became USA champion, winning the ticket to the 2003 opening round and a chance to become the first American world champion. But things haven't been easy for America's hope, and he has struggled throughout his last few matches. He must overcome and show the world that he has what it takes to become a champion. That will be my goal. That is my goal, is to win this tournament and to move on to the Osaka and then to eventually Tokyo Dome and to conquer that and get the title. Yes, that is my goal. Nothing matters to him but winning the Hawaiian crown and the ticket to Osaka. Carter Williams versus Nobu Hayashi. Now coming to the rear to the blue corner, from Japan, Nobu Hayashi! You know, it's interesting, looking at this tournament draw, I was talking uh, with odds maker Joey Odessa, who breaks down the odds of these fights, and he says Carter Williams is the biggest favorite, and Hayashi was the biggest underdog going into these fights, so... Hawk, the good thing about being an underdog, you got nothing to lose in a fight. Exactly, exactly. But you know what? Nobu Hayashi, uh, he's, uh, he's been around. And uh, he's one of the toughest uh, heavyweight fighters in uh, Japan right now, so. Hayashi had 29 fights. Back in uh, June 2004, did well in Japan, uh, making it into the final before losing to Amada by a decision. So he's a guy, that, I mean, he's not going to be intimidated. He's a guy that can fight. Well, absolutely. I mean, uh, this is nothing new to him. And, uh, you know, he, he also is one of these fighters that wants to go through and win the tournament. And uh, right now, it's a, another opportunity where he's, you know, he can go through. Gentleman who's six foot three, 246, a true heavyweight. And once again, a huge underdog, but now that could, that could be a good thing corner. for him. Here's, Here's opponent from the USA, Nigga, y'all done put that fire together, that body head, nigga. I'm in this motherfucker now, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. Uh, show you how we do this shit, nigga. I'm gonna start off at the body, and we gonna bust this bitch head. We gonna take it to the body. This tournament was put together. Many believe this is the man to beat. Carter Williams, 6'2", 243. Has an impressive record of 36 and 11. Has 24 knockouts in those 36 wins. And it's gonna be interesting. The thing about Carter, Ray, he has so much ability, so much talent. But he's a guy that's just kind of put it together. Well, yeah, I mean, Carter brings explosiveness into the ring. He brings combination into the ring, brings strength into the ring. But the last year and a half hasn't been good for him. And it just depends on which Carter Williams that's going to step in the ring today. Because, you know, even though Nobu, uh, Nobu has been um, classified as the underdog, he actually can put things together very well. So 
At this point in time, I would have to say still a 50-50 fight. Carter Williams is going to be interesting. He said in the press conference there was a time where he thought about just leaving the sport. He, he was so upset with what was going on. So he kind of looks at this tournament as a new start for him, a fresh start. And we'll see what he can do tonight against Nobu Hayashi. Let's go up to the one and only Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is three rounds of fighting in the K-1 heavyweight division. Introducing first, the fighter standing in the blue corner. This man is a boxer. He stands six feet, one inch tall and weighed in at 235 pounds. He holds a professional record of 21 wins with 14 losses. From Tokyo, Japan, introducing Nobu Hayashi. And now, introducing the total standing across the ring in the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, standing six feet two inches tall and weighing in at 241 pounds. He holds a professional record of 36 wins with 10 losses. Fighting out of the USA, California, introducing Kota Williams! When the action begins, our referee in charge is Akira Okabayashi. Mark, what would you tell Nobu if, if you're in his corner? I know you, you have the great training background, but as a trainer, what would you tell him against Carter Williams? Carter's a tough guy, man. I mean, like, he's been in this game for a long, long time. And as you know, he's been the uh, K1 USA champion. So, uh, you know, I, I would just have to tell Nobu to just uh, get in there and, uh, you know, do the best he can. And just, uh, you know, put together some good combinations. You saw the shot. A great crowd packed in here at Aloha Stadium to watch this great tournament. Nobu Hayashi taking on Carter Williams. The winner will face Gary Goodrich in the semifinal round here in K1. Nice kick right away. You see the power of Carter Williams and the speed he has. Nobu just trying to fill out Carter Williams. Carter has that explosiveness. Looks like both guys might have hit heads there, but. Oh, nice high kick there. Williams has so much ability. You see that low leg kick there hurt, hurt Nobu, and he's going to try to shake that off. Well, Carl's a very talented fighter, like we said. You know, uh, he's very explosive. He's quick. He's strong. Um, it just depends on which card it comes to the ring. And if he wants it, he, you know, it's all up to him now, you know? He can, he, without a doubt, he can win this tournament. Ayashi just trying to size up Carter. Good knee there. Carter misses with a big lift hook. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, just... Just so so quick. I mean, you can just see the quickness. He just snaps those punches with authority. Good left hand lands there by Williams. You know, Hayashi's game, uh, I think he wants to just kind of grind it out, just try to tie him up, land some shots. Carter, of course, wants to keep good distance, and he's doing a great job of that right now. His distance is perfect to land those kicks. Oh, good kick and a great left hand. Great combination there by Williams. Nice defense, too. Williams just putting on a nice array early in this first round. Well, he, you know, he's, he looks like um, he's a little bit more patient this time round. Uh, picking his shots. He's looking good. Great start for Williams. All oh, misses with that left hand. Ayashi just trying to close that distance. Right now, Hayashi's corner just yelling at him, just saying, you gotta throw some punches. You gotta get off in this fight. Yeah, they're telling him to be aggressive. Flying knee there by Williams. Both fighters, see this is, I think what Hayashi wants to do, just tie him up. Just not let, let him get that distance to score those uh, punches and kicks right now. Midway through this first round, and the, the tough thing, Ray, in, in a tournament, I mean, you want to get down to business and get it done quickly because you may have potentially three fights tonight. Well, that's right. And um, oh, so good right hand there by Williams. Knocks down Hayashi. Great right hand. Nice right hand.
Hayashi okay? And, yeah, he looks fine. Oh, that's the end of the round. Too bad for Williams. He would have liked to have about yeah. 10 more seconds. Saved yeah. by the bell. So Hayashi eats a big right hand. His corner will work on him now. Try to get him ready for the second round. Maki will have you translate a little bit here. Yeah, he's just telling him to be aggressive. And, uh, you know, just keep on going forward. Uh, work on your jabs. And uh, set him up with the jabs. And land a big one. Let's show you the action here, Ray. Carter Williams getting the knockdown. Yet, um, Hayashi's actually throwing the leg kick. Carter counting with the right hand. Lands on the button. Scores that round with the head count. Great shot there by Carter Williams. And now it's going to be interesting. You know, you get this break. Hayashi probably has his wits about him. But if you're Carter Williams, do you force the issue? Do you come out firing the second round? Or do you just want to feel him out and see where he's at? Well, I would uh, get him. You know, he's do exactly what he did in the first round. You know, uh, be patient. Pick your shots. Because that knockdown came from there, you know? Oh, good high kick there. Lands by Carter Williams. Comes out firing. Good combination. You see the speed of Williams. Hayashi in some trouble here. Carter Williams yeah. trying to finish this fight. Hayashi's a tough boy, you know? Oh, man. What? Williams just scoring a will in the second round. You can just see the confidence continue to build on Williams. Just picking the shots and land them. Hayashi right now just having a tough time trying to solve Carter Williams. Well, Carter's got his mouth wide open at the moment, so I don't know if he's, you know, trying to breathe. Isn't he already? Yeah, I was just going to say that. You know, Hayashi looks like he's in good condition. Yeah, he took a good left hook there. Absolutely, continues to move forward as well. Exactly. Nobu Hayashi, Carter Williams in the second round in the tournament. Gary Goodrich just kind of scout out this opponent. He's taking a look at both men in the back. Nobu just can't score right now. I mean, he's just having a tough time scoring any kind of punches and. Well, Carter's beating him to the punch also. You know, obviously Carter's using his speed, which is good for him. Um, and that's the thing with Hayashi. I mean, he, he's getting frustrated. You can see it. He just can't land anything. And Ray, Ray what do you do when you're in this situation if you're, you're Hayashi? I mean, you're, you're frustrated. Nothing's going your way. I mean, I just... You just keep throwing, hoping you land a shot, huh? Well, right now, I mean, like, he's going forward, but he's not doing much. So, if, you know, if certain things are not working for you, double your jab up, go back to the basics. You know, that's where, because a lot of people choose to get frustrated. They actually, they get this mind block thing. And, uh, the best thing to do right now is go back to the basics, double your jab up, look for some leg kicks, he blocks that, and then counter back upstairs. You, gotta, you know, vary your attack. Body, head, head, legs. Mark Takano and Ryan Bennett hanging out with Ray Seffo bringing you all the action here in beautiful Hawaii. And we're in the second fight here of the night in this tournament. Carter Williams right now wants to punch his ticket into that semifinal round, but in order to do it, he's going to have to go through Nobu Hayashi. Hayashi can take a shot, I'll say that. I mean, he's taking some big shots and weathered the storm. High kick there blocked by Hayashi. And that's the end of round two. Well, another probably round for Carter Williams, it looked like. Oh, absolutely. Carter wins that, won that round. He was uh, aggressive. He landed the better shots. Baki's in a situation now where he's, Nobu's really got to go for a knockout in order to win this fight. He has to. He has to. But, uh, you know, I don't think... Uh, you know, as you know, Carter's got good defense, too, so it may be pretty hard to do that. Yeah. But Hash is in good condition, though. See the action in the second round. This was the beginning of the round. I mean, Carter Williams just came out firing in that second round. Well, yeah, I mean, he threw some beautiful hit kicks, left hook. Um, 
just putting combinations together, scoring at will. He's done a and nice job of, of feeling that like he's going to kick and then lands that short right hand. That's been effective for Carter. Right. So here we go, third in what could be the final round, unless the judges see it differently. They do have an extra round if they want to go to it, but Nobu Hayashi really needs a knockout if he wants to win this fight. He comes out firing. The most aggressive he's been in the early stages of each round. Well, he definitely needs to win this round. Oh, good combination about Williams. Hayashi wanted to bring the fight to Williams, and Williams answered. And he answered very nicely, too. Good combination, landed a kick. Hayashi trying to push the pace, but he's paying for it as well. Well, Carl's a very good counter fighter. You know, counters off very well with the right hand left hook. Oh, good leg kick by Hayashi, but there was a left right combination for him when he landed the kick. And there's a knee there landed by Williams. You can tell Carter wanted to finish this fight, you know? Carter Williams shows you why he's one of the most feared guys in this tournament. Another right hand lands. Hayashi's got a steel chin. I mean, he's taking some shots. He, he took that right hand nicely. Absolutely. Just kind of look back at Carter Williams. Williams got to be a little bit frustrated with his. He's landing some nice shots, and Hayashi's not even blinking. Got a tough head. He must have took something out of uh, Cabbage Book or something. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And Williams trying to land some knees on the ropes. Tough part for Carters if this fight does go three rounds. Oh, good cut. Another left hook lands there by Williams. But, I mean, bottom line, Gary Goodrich got out the, you know, basically the first round. Kind of just got born there by throwing, uh, for throwing two knees. Because the rules are that you can't grapple you know, one knee and let go. So Williams wants to finish this fight strong. Oh, good left hand again. I mean, Williams just continues to score with the combinations. Good knee there. Hayashi now, you can see that left leg, some red welts, it's really swelling up. This is taking a lot of shots on, good combination, Williams wants to finish the fight. Uh, Carl's is very strong, yeah, Carl's building it on. Williams really bringing the action in this third round. Oh, right hand lands. I don't know how Hayashi's still standing. That guy's still standing? Oh, my God. <laughs> that's unbelievable. But he's taking some shots, flush on the chin, and that's it. Wow. Great fight for Carter Williams, and Hayashi is a tough guy in his own right. I mean, he took some serious shots, and he's still standing after three rounds. Good job. The Japanese fighting spirit. Absolutely. Yep. On display tonight, and Carter Williams taking a few deep breaths. He's going to need to because most likely he'll move on against Gary Goodridge. That'll be an interesting matchup. Take you through this third round. I mean, look at the barrage Carter Williams put on in this third round. Oh, man, that right hand got in there, fought it with a nice kick there. Yeah. Williams just goes to, the, goes to the body, throws the overhand left, uh, right. I'm surprised the bull is still standing. Some great combinations. Carter Williams really put his punches together. Let's go to Bruce Buffer. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. Judge Kurizumi scores the bout 30 26. Williams. <laughs> judge Ishida scores the bout 30 26. And Judge Onari scores about 30-26. Unanimous for the winner, Karcha! No doubt about it. Won every round, won every round impressively. Absolutely. Um, I mean, and for him to you know, move on and win this tournament, he has to look like that.
and come out and do exactly what he did in this fight.